Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early 4 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, you guys know my routine. I've told my regular viewers. Uh, I usually get up about 2, 2.15 and I immediately start going, well, I say my prayers and meditation and I, I go through my news feeds. And I have to have a story that, that hits me, that I feel strongly about. When I come across that story, bam, I, it's like I have to hurry, I have to make that video. I feel strongly about it. I've got a bunch of ideas in my head and I have to get them out. It's almost, it's the same thing that hits me when I, when I paint. I could be out walking and I'll, all of a sudden I'll get this idea and the colors, the paints I want to use and the shading and I got to get home and, and do it immediately. I mean, I'm, I almost run to do these things. I don't know if it's part of a creative process or if it's uh, another part of compulsive, uh, impulsive uh, personality or whatever, but anyway. This morning, nothing grabbed me. And so I started going about my business this morning, working out. And I thought about something that happened to me yesterday. And I, was, I wasn't going to talk about this to anybody. Um, the only place that I would talk about this would be at an AA or an NA meeting. Because they would, uh, people that, have, that deal with addiction or have been through addiction would know exactly what I'm talking about. People that haven't been through addiction or aren't familiar with it might be concerned when I tell you this story, when I tell you what happened to me yesterday. Uh, some people might, if you, you, know, you tell the wrong people uh, or people that don't understand, they, they get concerned for me. They get worried or uh, scared. Let me tell you, let me just get right into it, tell you what happened. I was coming back from my bike ride. I was on my bike, coming down the street, and I usually circle around to the back of my complex and come in through the back gate. It's got a, uh, it's got a, a lock, a uh, combination lock on it. And I, I come around down the alley, and this alley is directly across from the entrance to the police station. I'll get to more of that. I'll talk, I'll talk about the police in another video. I go through the police station every day, so the police get to know me a little more. I'll talk about that in another video. Anyway, I'm going down this alley, and I see it's, it's, it's not used a lot. It's open to cars and people, but there's bushes all lining one side, side and there's uh, the back of stores with uh, just a stone, uh, a brick wall with doors for a couple hundred feet. So it's a, just a, an alleyway. And I saw somebody sitting uh, on the curb. And this was, this is unusual. It was just one person kind of far up ahead as I was riding my bike towards them. A lot of times there's elderly people that live in the neighborhood and they take a break from walking. They, you know, they can't walk long distances. I think that's what I, I thought it was initially. And I came up and I'm just thinking, you know, going through my, my mind, thinking about this and that. And I look down and I look at the person. And I noticed the shabby clothes at first. The person's about my age, a male. And then I see it. He's got one hand up to his face against the breeze. And then he's got the other hand on a lighter. And he's got a stem coming out of his mouth. I'm very familiar with this. This is 99.9% uh, .9 likely that he was using uh, rock cocaine. Um, this was one of the... I first used this when I was probably about 20 years old. And I, I used it every day for... I was cross-addicted uh, for almost 20, 25 years. Um, so... I look down and I see him, and I drive past, and thoughts start coming through my head. Mainly, the 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 thought was I was thinking about how this could could be me. This could you know I felt I felt pity for this person if I hadn't changed my life. I'm coming up August twenty third, or I'm sorry, October twenty third. This month will be fifteen years. I've been completely clean and sober. I have not touched any cook any any drugs besides for what they prescribed when I had hip replacement uh, no, no drugs so but I'm going to tell you what I what quickly came into my mind the image this is what addicts have to deal with uh, on a daily basis um it's there's still the voice of the addict inside me it, they I learned this right from the beginning it's always going to be there this is something I always have to be on guard for. I can't, it's something I can't control. This is what went through my mind. If I wanted to use, because I, I haven't bought or used drugs in 15 years, so I wouldn't know where to get them, right? 
So if I wanted to use, I'd have to have somebody like him to go find him for me initially. So this is what went through my head right off the bat. You know, if I wanted to use, if I wanted to use, I, I could have this guy. You know, I, I could, I, I actually pictured all this. Because I, I thought, oh, I don't have money on me. I could go up to my apartment. I could tell him to wait here, go to my apartment, get my bank card, get money, come back. And I, I work out, you know, quickly this whole plan starts to fall into place in my head. This is where people get concerned. Um, it wasn't something that I was going to do. But this is something that happens almost on a daily basis. For addicts like me and for alcoholics, this goes through our heads on a daily basis. When we were, you know, like an alcoholic, we'll see... If he comes across, say, a, a, a bottle of beer, an open bottle of beer, or even an open bottle of beer laying on the ground or something, geez, I could have a drink of that. And a lot of us, we don't talk about that unless it's in meetings because it, people that aren't familiar with addiction would misunderstand. They, you, you know, a lot of people would think, well, Daryl, Jesus, you had it all planned out to a T. You know, you were planning on using. No, no, I really wasn't. Um... Because it's okay. Let me let me keep going here. So this this whole idea, if I wanted to use, this is what I could do, and these are thoughts that I I've learned to deal with. Okay. So as I went to bring the bike into my complex, I'm still you know. I wasn't seriously thinking about doing this, but it was all going through my head that if I wanted to use, this is what I would do. Now, I know this is what I, I immediately went to pros and cons. But remember, I've told you guys before, I, I asked myself, what good could come of this? What, what, what enjoyment, what pleasure, what bonuses could come of this? I've told you, I've talked about this before in videos. So this is my defense against this. Because this, this is like a uh, subconscious, like a spontaneous thing that goes through my mind. Almost on a daily basis. Well, if I wanted to, if I was going to use, this is how I would do it. This is what I could do. So in, in order to combat that or to, to, to defend myself, to, to shore myself up, I think about this. You know, What good would come of that? What would I do with the rest of the day? I'd spend money. I'd feel terrible. And there would be no positive aspect to this. I would end up probably within a month looking like that guy sitting on the sidewalk. I thought in my head about what he was wearing, you know, the torn and dirty clothes. I thought about my bike, how much it costs, my brand new sneakers, my, my brand new backpack, everything in it. I, and just the amount of money that I had in my clothes and everything that I wouldn't have if I went through this plan, you know, this idea of using. Like I said, to people that aren't familiar with addiction, it sounds scary. It sounds like I was planning on using. You know, I was like I was seriously contemplating it, but it, it wasn't. It's something that I'm used to dealing with every day. This happens to me all, all, pretty much on a daily basis. Um, I could say I take money out of the bank to go pay my bills. As a matter of fact, this did happen the other day. I took $200 out to pay my electric and my phone bill, $100 each, and it went through my head. Geez, back in the old, you know, back in the old days, I would have bought like a uh, eighth ounce or this or that, you know. And it, well, geez, if I did that, and now I still have $5,000 in the bank or this much, and boy, that would go. I could go on a hell of a run. I could get really messed up with the amount of money I have in the bank now. I wouldn't run dry for months. That's not really true because once you start using the money, it's unbelievable. You could go through you could go through five thousand dollars in a couple of days, um, but this is something I've learned to deal with. This is something that addicts, successful people in recovery, have learned how to deal with because these ideas always come into your head. Um, they're they're impul compulsive, but just it's that little addict voice. When you're successful in recovery, you learn how to deal with that little addict voice. That little voice never goes away. For the rest of my life, that little voice is always going to be whispering in my ear. Well, Daryl, you could do this. And if you were going to do this, you, you know, this is how you would do it. And it, all, it all starts playing out in my head. Every day for the rest of my life, this will happen. 
I just have to learn how to deal with that, how to combat that, how to ask myself, you know, why would you do this? What sense does it make? You know, to, to deal with the impulsive nature of this, it's almost like being possessed, um, really. You know, you, you hear yourself plotting out this, this thing that will ruin your life, make them, you know, get me arrested, uh, spend all my money, you know, ostracize me from my family and society, ruin my life. And yet that voice just keeps going in my head. This is addiction. Like I said, I was hesitant to talk about this initially, but I think it's good to talk about it because there's probably, there's, I guarantee there's people watching now that are dealing with this. And a lot of you guys still are still listen to that voice, and you don't have to. Uh, you have to. You have to. It takes away. It's a, it's a lot of hard work in, in learning how to combat that that addictive voice in your head. But like I said, uh, with me, I just think about how healthy I am now. Why would I? Why? What would? It, what would possibly prompt me to throw that away? I think about my heart, how strong my heart is after all this exercise and what that would do to it. Uh, you know, and it's all, it just, it's just, it was a list of pros and cons that I quickly came up with as I walked into my building with my bike on why I wouldn't follow that, you know, it's, I, I get, initially I get this plan. If I wanted to, if I was going to use, this is how I would do it. And right away, I've learned that I need to stop myself and go through like a list of pros and cons. Why would you do that? You know, uh, kind of like a logic response to that. Instead of being impulsive and just going for it like I used to in the old days. Jeez, I could do this. Bam. And it, that's in the old days, I would just go. I would immediately set it in progress. I would have turned my bike around and gone back and, and just casually started a conversation with that, that person to use him as an intermediary to go get me drugs because I don't know where to buy them today. Uh, but now, I don't, that, that never crossed my mind to actually turn around and go back to talk to him. You know, the whole thing played out in my head on what I would do. Like I said, I stopped it and went through this list of pros and cons. You know, logically, why would I ever do that? It makes no sense. It would ruin my life. I would be miserable tomorrow and there and for the rest of my life if I did this. Why would I do that? <laughs> and that's how I combat it. <clears throat> so this is what I wanted to share with you guys today. Like I said, initially I was very hesitant to talk about this because a lot of people won't understand it. But uh, anybody that's in addiction will immediately know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is this is what we deal with every single day of our lives. It, it's a you probably heard this. It's a daily battle that takes a lot of willpower and strength and uh, practice to learn how to keep yourself where you need to be instead of being pulled by this this addiction, this disease. All right. I hope you guys learned. Some, I hope you understood what I was talking about today. Have a great Thursday. I'll be back later with another video.